Today we are tackling a look for a house that's known for its excellent wisdom, wit, and skill for learning. This video is part two of four and today we are doing Ravenclaw. Hi, today is December 11th, 2022, and in case you didn't know, my name is Lisa. And today we're doing another makeup vlog um, with the Harry Potter ColourPop collection. And just, you know, just to say again, I am not an expert. I am completely an amateur. I don't even know half the stuff that I'm doing. I'm just having fun, and I hope you have fun with me. Um, I have my Ravenclaw sweater on. It has the R there for Ravenclaw. It has like a really big raven on the back as well. I think I said there was like a hawk or an eagle for the, um, the insignia, insignia or the animal that they use. And I think it's, it's, I think it's an eagle, but they call it Ravenclaw, so it's like kind of confusing. And this is a get ready with me, and once again, you're just getting ready with me um, so I can film my other videos today. I'm trying to catch up, trying to film as many as I can before the Christmas holidays because I won't be able to film for two weeks, and I wasn't able to film the last three weeks, so just trying to make up for time lost and then get a little bit ahead as well. I'm going to Michigan for the holidays, and yeah, I can edit while I'm in Michigan, there's just no place to film. First off, I'm gonna show you my earrings. They're also Harry Potter themed. They're little time turners. Very cute. Um, and also, if you wanna check out the, um, the full product unboxing of the Harry Potter ColourPop collection and the, um, the look I did for Hufflepuff, you can check out the video I did yesterday. Um, and well, I filmed it yesterday, probably was released about a week ago. And it's in the description box down below. So the first thing I do, I, I already put on most of my makeup because I'm just not really looking to, you know, go through a full face. I just kind of want to play with the products and not like go through the entire process. Um, so first thing I do is, is look at the eyeshadows. So once again, this is what the pressed palette looks like. It's very cool. I have lots and lots of colors. And there is the colors right there. So I'm thinking, you know, because Ravenclaw's colors are blue and white. I'm definitely going to do, let's see, oh, by the way, I have these, like, before I get to that, these, um, these eyeshadow and makeup brushes I've been using, they're actually, like, shaped like wands or, like, broomsticks, and they're really cool. I love them. So I'm definitely going to be using these blue purpley colors right here, these three, and a little bit of this white color here for highlighting, um, under, um, above the eye. And I'm thinking for the like base color that I always use, I'm gonna use this one here. I'm gonna start with that's called Enchanted Keys. So I'm gonna go closer, Enchanted Keys. So I mentioned in my last video that the, um, the houses people most associate me with are both Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff because they assume I'm really nice and Ravenclaw because I'm kind of like a spitfire with like a bunch of facts and random things and I also like love to study and learn things, so people always guess that I'm either Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. Um, but I'm not going to tell you what I am. I'll reveal that at a later time. I prefer it if you put it down in the comments, guess what you think I am. And if you know, don't spoil it for everybody else. You know, just, just play it cool, put your guess in, and I'll know that you know. Ooh, I actually like this color a lot. It's kind of like a purpley brown. And I already messed up a little bit. <laughs> so my fingers just all over the place. And it's gonna and it's sitting really well. So yesterday I was having some problems with the yellow. And I was like, it's not showing up. The lights are just drowning it out, whatever. And when I saw it on camera, <laughs> it was just like so yellow. So it shows up on camera, doesn't like show up in the mirror for whatever reason. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna primarily be using these two colors because they're more of a purpley blue and this one's kind of like just a regular blue. And if you know anything about people with blue eyes, like I have, then blue eyeshadow is not the best. <laughs> it does not bring out your best features. Um, especially if you're a warm tone person like I am. So I'm gonna go for more of a purple blue um, for that like a little bit of redness and just, just to make sure it looks better. I'll add a tiny bit of this dark blue. Um, but yeah, I think they're really pretty. This one's called Patronus. And I'm probably gonna put that one on my, um, the outer part of my eye, I'm thinking, or inner part, and this one for the outer part. And then I'm gonna do some highlight, like some like outlining with this dark blue color. Okay. So first one I'm gonna start with is Patronus. Right 
there. It's really pretty. I hope it shows up nice. So I've added some of that on the inner part of my eye, and now I'm gonna put this purple at the end. It's really, really sparkly. It's called Forbidden Forest. So my impression of Ravenclaw people is that they are kind of stuck up, just a tiny bit, just a little bit. And it's not in the way you think, because like, most people think of what's the stuck up house, it's the, uh, it's the Slytherin house, right? Um, but I always think that, you know, Ravenclaw has this, like, reputation of kind of thinking they're better than everyone else. They're like, you know, we don't go around, you know, becoming Dark Lords, and we're not trying to be boastful and outrageous like Gryffindors, and we're not losers like Hufflepuffs, sorry, Hufflepuffs. Um, Ravenclaw's just kind of thinking, you know, we're smart, we're better than everyone else, and they kind of sit in their high tower, right? The tower of Ravenclaw. And they, and so I always talk about how all the Harry Potter houses have like their own form of like bitchiness and Hufflepuff is like that Southern bless your heart bitch. And Ravenclaw would be like the, I'm going to intelligently insult you and make you feel bad about yourself house. And I'm going to, and it's like, it's very, very condescending. A very a condescending bitch which I can respect it's just you know who would want to hang out with that kind of person I certainly want to hang out with that kind of person maybe I am that person ah, you know so I need to definitely like buff this out a little bit because I feel like it's not spreading very well and it's not that defined I said that yesterday and it ended up showing really well on camera but I don't feel like this is the same um, but I am going to do, maybe I should add just a little bit of this dark blue. It's the one that's called Ravenclaw. There might be a hint for the one I should use. Um, it's right there, that blue color. It's from the, right in the middle. What I always thought was interesting in the books was that Gilderoy Lockhart was a Ravenclaw and he was dumb as rocks. And I kind of, you know, that's when it comes back to that thing of Sometimes people end up in houses that don't actually suit them. And it's like, well, why was that? And I think it has to do with it's what you value. So he wishes he could be smart and amazing and know everything, but really he doesn't. And I think that kind of personifies a lot of people who identify with the Ravenclaw house. No shade, but lots of shade. You know, they, they think they're really smart, but they're sometimes kind of dumb as rocks. And I think it's, um, that's why it kind of extends to creativity. Because you look at someone like Luna Lovegood. Luna Lovegood's like one of the best characters in Harry Potter. But she's, um, she's definitely not dumb as rocks. But she's highly creative. And so I think there's a lot of that in Ravenclaw as well. It's not just about studying and learning and, and wit. But just the highly creative, intellectual, thinking of new ideas and things kind of thing. And I can respect that part of Ravenclaw, I think, more than the... I think I'm smarter than you one. Because obviously, well, who's the smartest one at Hogwarts? It was Hermione Granger, and she was in Gryffindor. Same thing, Professor McGonagall. She was in Gryffindor. So, clearly, it's just about priorities. What's your priority? That's what house you end up in. And so, like, if your priority is, I want to sit around and write music all day, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I would say, like, Taylor Swift would be, like, a Ravenclaw, in my personal opinion. Um, which, although she's a very strong Hufflepuff side to her, but if she were a Hufflepuff, I think she would be a baker full-time because she's a, you know, she just really, really loves, like, her artistic pursuits. Definitely Ravenclaw. If you think she's a cunning, backstabbing person, then she's probably a Slytherin. I don't think she's a Gryffindor, though. Um, I'm going with Ravenclaw. Okay. Very blue. I've never worn eyeshadow this blue before. It's kind of driving me wild. Um, I'm just going to clean off my brushes a little bit. Figure out what I'm going to do next. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this blue underneath. It's already going underneath. This is another thing about blue eyeshadow. It goes everywhere. I mean, it's so hard to contain. Like, I've already got some here, and it's making my like 
dark circles come out again. So I need to be really careful. And it's kind of making my eyes look green, which is, that's weird. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more of the purple, the forgotten purple that I didn't pick out from the Forbidden Forest. Get some of that in there. Nice and purpley. And this is just absolutely a mess. I'm gonna have to definitely clean it up with a, <laughs> one of my definition brushes. Okay, now I'm gonna go for the white because obviously Raven Class blue and white. It's a really pretty Lumos right there. Kind of hard to see on camera, but it's there. Pick it up and kind of get that effect there. My upper lid. I forgot to draw my eyebrows in. I'm gonna have to do that in a second. Yeah, because in case you didn't know, I don't actually have eyebrows. Well, I do, but they're blonde, they're thin and sparse because I have hypothyroidism. So they don't really grow all that well. Yeah, I like this though. Okay. I think that's the look that we're doing. I kind of look like a pop star. I'm not gonna lie. But it's a pop star from the early 2000s, back when fashion and makeup was terrible. I have returned with eyebrows. Compare the before and after photos. It is startling, seriously. Um, I really need to clean up my eyes. I saw myself in the bathroom mirror and I really need to clean up my eyes because it's a mess. And like, seriously, like this is, like I said, this is the problem with blue eyeshadow. I don't know how the Ravenclaws do it. It just does it, it just goes everywhere. I'm gonna have to like figure something out. So I'm gonna add my second part of the um, foundation. Try and clean it up a little bit. Try to like salvage myself. Get the blue on my cheek off, oh my God. And it's kind of like spread now to my under eyes. I just worked so hard to like get concealer on my under eyes and it's making me look like I got dark circles all over again. Get this figured out. So um, because it's now winter, I'm not adding um, this True Match like Warm 3 anymore just because I don't need, I'm, I've lost a lot of my tan from the summer so I'm just regular like between 2 and 2.5 right now instead of between 2.5 and three of the L'Oreal True Match Warm colors. Um, just trying to make sure I don't look like I'm made of oranges or ate too many oranges. Let's see here. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it so much. I like the white, but it's just the blue. <laughs> okay, I got makeup all over me now. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this brush here, and I haven't used any eyeshadow on it. I don't use it for that, and I'm going to just kinda like get some definition around my eyes so it doesn't look so like smudgy. Put it in my foundation. Time to clean it up. Let's get it right there. Okay. And this is why we always do eyeshadow before we finish up putting our foundation on. Just for this reason, in case you're dumb and you wanna use blue eyeshadow. And I can barely talk, I'm still getting over laryngitis, so forgive my like froggy voice. I don't usually sound like this. Make sure it's not going into my eyebrow. Should've thought of that before I put it on. Okay, there, that's much better. Still weird looking, but it's not terrible. Just mildly terrible. Okay. So um, I'm gonna get some of that awesome liner. If you remember, it's this one right here and it's called Diadem. I can't remember how to say that. It's that, that headdress thing she, that the Ravenclaw daughter, you know, has and they have to kill it or destroy it because it's a Horcrux and it's blue. So if you remember, put the blue on the hand. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna use it as eyeliner it says it's like a graphic, graphics ink liner. I don't know what it means it wants you to draw graphics on your face or something. I'm just gonna use it as eyeliner because, you know, whatever. I have to say, these like liners are some of like the, the prettiest things in the collection. They're, they're really awesome. Um, I typically hate eyeliner, 
but this goes on so smooth and it doesn't smudge a whole bunch if you're just, you know, doing a halfway decent job. My eyes are already watering because anything that goes near my eye, my eye starts crying. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, like, pretty awesome. I wish you could see it better. It's kind of really hard to, might be really hard to see on camera. But I promise you in person, it's pretty awesome. Okay, eyeliner applied. Time to add the first layer of mascara. Get that going on. Get this off by hand. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that this is a little bit brushed out there. A little bit brushed out there. Okay, good. Awesome. Oh, okay, let's go to the next part. Um, I guess blush. Um, I'm using this blush here from ColourPop called Georgette Super Shop Cheek. Using my blush brush that I have not bothered to clean because I use the same one every time. Clean it next time I use something different. get massive thousand layers of blush. I love this color. Okay, make sure it's there on your nose and on your forehead. Blend it in right there. And down here. Make yourself look rosy and not like a zombie. And for the highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Hedwig because it has kind of like a purpley tone to it. And I felt like that was the one that was gonna, you know, look best, as you can see. Look best for the highlighting. Use the other side of the brush. Get that there. Okay. Got that figured out. I did the highlighter. Next thing is lips. I already aligned my lips, so I just gotta like get some chapstick on them. I'm using the Ravenclaw chapstick. And I know the Hufflepuff one tasted like lemon cream, so I'm like really excited to see what this one tastes like. It's very cool. It smells like cotton candy. Or like candy floss, as they would say, you know, in Harry Potter land. It's not even real country, it's just Harry Potter land. Yeah, it tastes like bubble gum. It's really good. Kind of has a blue tinge to it. Way more than I thought it would. Okay. I'm definitely going to be using the Luna Love Good Lip Gloss, but for the lip, I gotta check them out first. I got the options for Hermione and Harry. We'll see which one goes with which. Which one will fit blue better? This one's kind of like a light pink. Harry's is a. Come on, Harry, come out of here. Dark red. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the pink. Hermione, you win today. Because she's smart. She should have been a Ravenclaw. But she learned her lessons. She was just brave. So this is like a liquid lipstick. And it's very much like a, a pale pink. Works pretty well. I'm also going to clean up around my lips a little bit because I noticed this lipstick kind of smears and I saw it smeared a little bit in my um, other videos. So before I add the lip gloss, I'm just going to make sure it's all like together. Things in the right place. Not looking like trash. Yeah, definitely when you have eyes this blue, you don't want like a red Harry Potter lip because it's just going to be too overwhelming. It's going to be... You're going to be in clown world at that point. Um, definitely need an understated lip color or else you're looking like your $2 whore. Probably going to cut that out because <laughs> this is trashy. Okay, now for the Luna Love Good Lip Gloss. She's so cute. Look at that. Look at her. So pretty. I love her glasses. Let's see what this looks like. Mm. 
yeah, that definitely works. It's not like, um, although it does get on your brush, it's not like um, too overpowering. Just makes it regular glossy. Okay, well, that's the Ravenclaw look. You can see my eyes are all blue. Ugh. Well, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do for my next video. Do I want to go into the next one wearing blue like this? I just might have to. I don't know. I don't want to redo my eye makeup all over again. Well, bear with me. At least you'll know why. At least you know why I look like a clown. So, um, anyways, do this. I think that's enough poses. Pretty sure I got the shot. Um, you have a great day. Stay tuned for the next video I'm doing. It's either going to be Gryffindor or Slytherin. You're going to have to wait to find out. Um, anyways, as I said, please let me know what Hogwarts house you think I am below. Just take a guess. Have a great night. I'll see you later. Bye.